Hello, welcome back to Minecraft. This is episode 50, I believe. Pretty crazy that we're here already. I have a lot more room in my inventory for cobble deep slate, so I guess I'll mine some more of that. Maybe one day I'll turn this into part of my house. I don't know. I'm probably gonna mine all the way down to bedrock in the shape of whatever the mine up there was. So, clearing this out saves me time later, I guess. Tough does literally nothing. So, I guess I'll mine it and just let it despawn on the floor. Makes a weird noise when you break it, too. It sounds kind of like Graham Cracker. Kind of similar with Deep Slate. Deep Slate just sounds like more durable Graham Cracker. What is the point of Tough? Does it do anything? Maybe this is gonna be the first episode where I actually check the wiki for something, because I do not know what it does. And it feels weird that there's something in the game that does literally nothing. So, maybe it does do something. Let's try to clear out the, the glow berries too. I want to clear this whole room out hearing weird noises, making me think there's creepers or around. Maybe the bats are bumping into these. How many of these do I have? 57? 58? 62? That should be 64. Okay. Whoa. Give me the glow berry. This area seems pretty safe, actually, because of the glow berries. Fuck off. I want to place a block. Because I hate... Vines are annoying. So I will destroy them. What the hell was that? Oh, it's an axolotl. Okay. I was wondering what the heck that was. This area bush is pretty... Common. 11 and 26. Skeleton. Oop. I hear him, but I don't see him. Suppose I will leave now. Come back with some torches and more inventory space. Next time I come down here, I should bring a sign. And, like, say the date. There'll be a trail of signs throughout my world that'll have different dates, so I'll be able to trace back what dates I did what. How much flint do I have? I could probably make a bunch of arrows. Yeah, whatever shape this is, like this rectangle here, I'm gonna mine all the way down to bedrock in this shape. I'll probably remove the ceiling, too. Why am I going down? I'm too busy thinking about how I'm going to accomplish that. Because <laughs> I'm probably just going to hammer up to mine all this sand and then deal with the water again. Which does not sound fun at all. One glowberry grew. Cool. He didn't despawn. And my kelp started growing. Dude, let's go. Massive. Not really massive at all, but it's cool. Um, what am I doing? Start smelting the clay balls. Smelt all the clay balls. Take the charcoal. Get some more iron that I need. Is that it? You can smell cobble deep slate and make regular deep slate, I think. I'm not sure. Um, at this point, I really don't care. <laughs> let's, let's get a gold bar. And then get some more stone, I guess. With the remains. How much flint do I have? 40. 
cool. Redstone. That's some some slime. Lots of glow berries. Good amount of lapis. This next to the blocks. Yeah, for now I guess the uh, the ladders are not going to be something I'm going to be worried about. Because I'm just going to be exploring that area. I'm not going to go any deeper. There's no reason to. Where am I putting this lava? I remember in the 2017 Let's Play there was a... That sheep over there. This area is so much different than it was when I first got here. Oh my god. This used to be like a slope, slope podsole forest, and now I just demolished it, <laughs> cleaned it out. Now it looks like this, pristine. I don't know what to do with this lava. That looks cool. Make like a lava fall or something. I guess I'll store lava on my roof somewhere. I have a lot of cobble. Is it enough cobble to finish the ceiling? I think it is. Dude, you're an idiot. I know, you don't need to tell me. <laughs> okay. Well, one block short. But at least it's one block that I can reach. So now the, this dude's epic little containment cell is finished. Which is really cool. And lava is still what to do with this. <laughs> Gotta put it somewhere. Even if I wanted to put it somewhere, I can't, because I don't have any building materials. I'm not putting it in deep slate or a gravel square. It just ain't happening. This block is so annoying. Okay, what else do I have that I can store? Isn't there a deep slate chest somewhere? Yeah. Exactly 64. Sixty-four of them. I don't know what they do, but I have a bunch of them. What the hell is that turtle doing? Should have stuck the gold bar in that chest while I was down there. I want to empty this and put it somewhere, but I don't know where. I could put it down here. At least for now. Why is there copper? <laughs> There's copper here, where I just so happen to be mining. Well, I'm actually having fun, so I'm gonna keep going. Finish mining over there to that other area. Think that's gonna break soon? That's why I got a second one. And that iron shovel had way more durability than I thought. My inventory ended up filling up before I even got close to the amount of clay that I needed, mostly because of the water that's in my way. Couldn't really do anything that I wanted to do down there because I had to spend so much time filling up the, the water with moss. Okay, what do we got here? A bunch of copper. Even if it sucks, I'm glad that it's in the game. Because that's cool make like a little pit here, stick the lava in it, make like a lava bank under my house. And now I have a good amount of cobble, and very little use for it. Um, why are these things 
How can you craft wheat out of? Oh, hey. Lost carpet. But you can make carpet. Interesting. Cool. Lapis block. Red dye. Sticky piston. I don't know how to make a regular piston. I think it's like stone or something. Stone button. Three kinds of wood that I've found. That is such a weird... What the hell? It's like the same texture but on every side. That's a cool sound. Ooh, polished deep slate looks really cool. I like how that looks a lot. This is just four, yeah. Nifty. Tools. Where's the sawmill that I saw? Oh, whatever. Let's go back up. Two, three. That's divisible by eight. More iron, some stone. Let's melt that too. Stone chest over here. I'm placing too many chests too quickly, so I'm like forgetting where shit is. Um, I could fill this whole entire inventory with cobble, and then we can make an unbreakable stone shovel. I don't know how helpful that would be. I guess it would be very helpful actually, because shovels are really. They're, you pretty much always need them, and uh, they're really quick. Like the, all the materials that you use a shovel on, you can just break with your bare hands anyway. Sure, but that's actually a good thing. It means all those materials break really quickly with a shovel. So let's try to get, I don't remember the math. I'm gonna have to do it again, but I think it was like 16 stacks of 64. All that stuff up on the, on the, well, I guess, yeah, the surface. In a way, that's the surface. Some more coal right there. All that stuff is smelting, let's collect more cobble. of the iron pickaxe. Stone one, I could have broken like three or four stone pickaxes by now. Not to fear, durability is here. Bunch of andesite, which I may use one day, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do it, do with it, but probably gonna build something cool with it, I don't know. gonna end first the video or the durability of my pickaxe I think the video because it's been I don't have 10 more seconds so thank you for watching see you